action. South Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo holding short for runway 16. Hey, there's no one on, there's nobody on downwind. There's, God, it's a ghost town on this Sunday morning. No one on final. Okay. South Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo departing to the south off of runway 16. That wasn't a very good radio call. South Valley traffic, Archer 970, Whiskey Charlie at random aviation, taxi to the run up area of 16 via Bravo, South Valley. Okay, so all the all everything's in the green, so flaps are down, fuel pumps on, carb heats off, choke off. You ready? Ready. Let's fly, baby. a little heavy. Good thing I went for protein only last night for dinner. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I know. I was just making a joke that I didn't drink or I didn't eat a bunch of carbs so we could take off today. South Valley Traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo, turning cross, runway 16. Altitude. Why is Piper telling us about our altitude? Oh, it just does that. Oh. Because I think I've got the bug set and it's it's getting close to the altitude, so that's climbing pretty good actually. We're almost a pattern altitude right now. What a beautiful morning to fly. Right. There's a plane. Yeah, so no no factor. Stop by traffic Piper Sport seven one three Echo Romeo turning downwind for runway one six. Wow, this is pretty. I think this is the best visibility that I've seen since I've been flying. Really? Yeah, because it's always been so smoggy. Well, other than when it was crystal clear with the snow. All right, let's do a couple touch and goes, and I'm gonna look down the runway, and and then we'll go. Let's go fly around Utah Lake or something like that. Okay. I should say ten four, right? No, don't say that. <laughs> okay. Car beats on, fuel pumps on, flaps are in the white, going ten. I'm going to try or stay around 62 the whole time. Climb, climb. I got to change that bug. That's what say, it's saying. I'm at pattern altitude and it's telling me to climb.
South Highway traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo, turning base, runway 16. Yeah, look at the flag, uh, kind of a headwind, don't we? I am not sure what flag you're looking it's at. It's down over here. Oh, okay. Yep, I would say a headwind. That's what we're supposed to have. Stop power traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo on final for runway 16 for a touch and go. All right, we're a little high. That's about good right there. Remember to look up. Yeah, I know. I'm going to look at the numbers and then look up. So that's. That's the perfect glide slope right there. A little slow. That's that's money right there. If I can keep this all the way in. Getting a little fast and a little low. That's perfect right there. Okay, rolling off the throttle. That was good. That was amazing. Phenomenal. Airspeed's alive. Now I'll just try to hit the center line a little bit more. I felt like I was in control. It was extremely smooth. Yeah, that was a good landing. Nice job, Captain Nick. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. All luck. All, all YouTube training. <laughs> Self-taught right there. Yeah. We'll do one more and then we'll and we'll head out. Okay. Yeah, we are a little heavy. We got some fuel on board. South Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo. Turning cross runway one six. Should I do the next call? What are you gonna say? Just say it to me and then um yeah, just say it to me and then we'll see how it sounds. That's how I sometimes do it. Okay. I say it ahead before I hit the push to talk. So go ahead. Go. South Valley traffic. Uh hypersport. 713 Echo Romeo turning base. Downwind. Downwind, runway 16. South Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713 Echo Romeo turning downwind, runway 6. 16. 16. Maybe you should do it. You got this. Just okay. Keep, keep saying it. Should I do it now, though? Sure. I'll make my turn. Go for it. South Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713 Echo Romeo turning downwind, runway 16. I gotta speed that up, huh? Yeah. But when I did it, I had a lot of feedback in my headset. Yeah, I think you, do you have your volume on high or low? I turned it, I turned it, I think it's on high because low I had feedback constant. Yeah, because I think um, when my dad had a uh, traffic archer, 970 Whiskey Charlie, taking runway 16 for departure, South Valley. 
You did good. That sounded good. There was nothing wrong with that. I'll get better at it as time goes on. What a beautiful day. I know, huh? Thanks for doing touch and goes. I know they're kind of boring, but we'll bug out and head south. And I don't have a problem with it at all because I'm just watching what you're doing. And okay, he's taking off right now, right? Yeah, he's taking yeah. off. All right. Climb, climb. Besides, like we talked about before, the I mean, practice makes perfect. Yeah. So. Okay. Flaps are in the green. Car Pete's coming on. We'll do one more. Okay. When we were on the ground, I was watching the pedals. Yeah, it's kind of hard on the ground, but I'm going to try to land the center line a little bit more. But I wanted a good, smooth landing. That's that's number one. I don't care as long as I hit the runway, right? Exactly. Well, and I mean, I know the the white line is kind of a perfectionism section thing. Stop by traffic, Piper Sport Seven One Three Echo Romeo, turning base runway one six. Yeah, it is a it is a perfection thing, but I mean. But if you're so concerned with that and not having a smooth landing, I would think that the landing and a safe landing are more important than yes hitting the line. Yeah, a controlled landing is much better than you know. But it's nice to practice because you don't always have a wide runway like this, so you want right. to kind of hit the numbers. I know, no factor. I did see it. Okay. But generally, if you hit the glide slope, it's, you know, you're already set up for really good. Okay, radio call. South Valley Traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo, on final for runway 16 for a touch and go. South Valley Traffic, Archer 970, Whiskey Charlie, departing the pattern to the east, South Valley. Okay, this looks pretty good. I'm, I, I, li I like having three white, one red. Because, I mean, I got lots of runway, so I can fix it. At, okay, our airspeed is perfect. Okay, I'm going to give it a little gas to stay in on this glide slope. Flaps are 30, carb heat's on, fuel pump's on. Do you still see three white, one red? No, I see two white, one red. That's the perfect glide slope right there. Okay. Shooting for 62. I'm 63. Oh, shit. I'm fine with that. I'm, I mean... PG-13. I said shit. I know. Okay, coming hot. Airspeed's coming alive. Nice job. That was fun. Thank you. All right, let's go fly somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pause the movie for a minute. Oh, okay. I did not realize Utah Lake was that big. Yeah, it's big. The it's big, pretty. The big lake. It's pretty sad that I've lived here all my life and I've well, only well, ever glanced as I've driven by, and you can't really see descend that descend. much about it. Well, when you when you're six thousand feet up, it's everything looks different, you know. Yeah. 
but it's it's like super super shallow, right? It's very shallow. I don't know if it's 15, 20 feet deep, maybe. I don't think it's any deeper than that. Wow. I mean, it's easy, easy if you, I mean, if you got a big boat, I'm sure you'd probably run aground, maybe, I don't know. When I was wakeboarding out there, I would come off and sometimes I'd be like, oh crap, you know, and you're standing in, in water, you know, and it's, and you're on the ground and, you're, and your uh, wakeboard's stuck in the mud. <laughs> I did that once on the, the Snake River in Laughlin. Oh, Nevada. really? Yeah, we were water skiing up and down the river, and it kind of tripped me out when I wrecked, and I was only in waist-deep water, because I didn't realize it was that shallow when I jumped into water ski. Do you know this area pretty well? Would you be able to find Jeremy's house? Or Oh, there's a hot air balloon. Where? Oh, I see it. Oh yeah, Sorry. don't yeah, don't do that. That looks like a really good field to paramotor off of. I know, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy lives over there. Oh, that's his subdivision? Yeah. I don't know if he's flying today or not, at work or whatever. That would be a perfect, sorry. Stop doing that. That would be a perfect field to take off in. Yeah, and I don't know if that's an alfalfa field or what. Guys, guys out there golfing. Do you see the hot air balloon? Yeah, he's right here. Okay, do I have plenty of space? Oh yeah. He's, yeah, he's not even on in the air, is he? I think he barely lifted off the ground. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, he's only off the deck just a few, isn't he? Yeah. I think you're right though, I think that's an alfalfa field or something. Yeah, class delta's right up here, so I'm gonna make my turn here. Okay. Do you know what time we took off? I don't. And what a beautiful flight. Is this stupid or what? It's amazing. I totally understand what your dad's talking about. Just 
how peaceful it is to get up here and just look down on life going on in it. It just looks so, so peaceful, like no chaos. And then you get down there. And then it's just a shit show usually. Are you recording? I am. Oh, you said shit too. <laughs> That's PG-13. They say that on net, on crime television. Can you see the lake okay? Yeah. Yeah, I was being not very good with my... I should have went down this way and came so that it was on your side. No, it's okay. I was looking at it the whole time we were going that way. Six thousand three hundred feet. We're just putting along, doing about uh, probably close to a hundred miles an hour. It's about ninety three, ninety four knots. RPMs are. A I don't know, 4,900. We're just putting along. We do, we do flying like we do barbecuing, just, you know, nice and slow. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be cool seeing all those paragliders, but we can't stay out too long because they'll probably pack up pretty soon. Yeah. 8.30, 8.30 in the morning. It's a little chilly in here. I'm glad I wore a long sleeve shirt. Yeah, but when you have a hoodie on, you sweat to death. Yeah. So. Check for people coming through here. Yeah, there's a plane right above us right there. So, just kind of keeping an eye on traffic because this is kind of a, you know, thoroughfare here. Kind of like an intersection, I guess you'd say. Okay. Oh, I bet that's a mink farm right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Looks like it. Want to go that way, or you want to go that way? We can go that way. This way will probably be a little bumpier. Okay. You still want to go this way? Sure. In fact, what I'll do is, well, I'll come close to this. I'll come close to this, and then. I'll do, a, I'll do a loop, and then you'll be able to see the shoreline. Okay. Because I want you to see the sh shoreline. And it's so smooth. Guess you can still see the shoreline, right? Yeah. The 
They got him in sight. He's right over there. Do you see him? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm just watching for traffic. Going fast. Yeah, he's got a tailwind. We're bucking a headwind. I'm going to record while we... What do you think? This is cool. Turn around. Sure. Yeah, whatever you want to do, honey. I'll fly down here in this okay. clearing, and then uh, I'll make my turn around, and I'll hug this ridge line, and then you can get the view. Okay. I know there's a lot of fishing in there. Yeah, like traffic there from 4 8 0 6 8 flying over midfield, joining right downwind for runway 1. What did you say, sorry? I know there's fishing in this lake, but is there like water sports and all that stuff? Oh yeah, you can wakeboard, water ski, you can, it's just a regular lake. It doesn't look very busy. Maybe it's... Too cold. Yeah. Too cold. Not warm enough yet, huh? Yeah, it's too cold. Oh yeah, I guess the outside temperature right now. 48 degrees. But we are a little bit in the sky. So yeah, this would be the way we go to uh, St. George. Oh nice. Yeah, we're doing about 100 knots. Into the wind. That's cool. And it says it's a light wind. These campgrounds, I just don't get it. If you do that again. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. It just scares me. Because I feel everything through the stick, and if, I, if you hit that stick, it's like... I gotta stop talking with my hands in the plane. Yeah, I'm gonna have you, hey, okay. Sit on your hands. Sit on your hands, there you go. <laughs> Traffic not available. Yeah, we'll head back. Probably be about an hour and a half or something like that, I think. You would have been dicking around with your touch and goes. <laughs> Wasn't me. 
was just cheering you on. Not a trail she can Descend. ride dirt bikes on out here, huh? Yeah. Cedar Fort, called Cedar Fort. I've heard that thing before. I rode my dirt bike all over these hills. That's when it was fun. Then I started racing and I destroyed my body. <laughs> Is this a 45 degree turn? No, no. This is a this is a 20. Oh, really? Yep. I'm trying to keep it PG. Now there's a view. That is beautiful. You want me to take a picture with your phone? Yeah. I'll just try to keep this heading so you can take that picture. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll fly kind of close. Can you see the shoreline? I can. Okay. Like perfect water skiing weather right there. I know, huh? Not weather, but water. I don't know, I'm thinking about turning on the autopilot, it's so smooth. Why wouldn't you? Autopilot, engaged. <laughs> Show off. But if it gets a little bumpy, I'll, I'll take it out. Got coffee over there? It's gone. Is it gone? Yeah. Oops. Guy right above us, in front of us, somewhere. See him? Do you see him? I don't. I'm looking. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, right here. Six, eight, short mile. Oh, right I see. Okay, I got him in sight. Traffic in sight. He's way above us. It's just when it shows up. Yeah, traffic. 12 o'clock, 900 feet above us. Yeah, but have a number 331 double coffee on base runway 16. It could get a little rough here. Got that traffic archer, nice to zero whiskey Charlie, entering the downwind runway one six, full stop, stop out. Can you still see the shoreline? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's kind of a high ridge over Bravo here. Bravo traffic November 331, Bravo Golf is on final runway one six, full stop, stop out traffic. Yeah, no traffic in the area, so we're doing good.
got a pretty good 13 mile an hour side wind. So it's kind of pushing us this way. So that's why it's I could be up here all day long. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. That's why I'm like, I, wa I want to fly to St. George so bad, see the pops. That would be so fun. And then a hop, skip, and a jump to Boulder City. Yeah, to see Deb and Kev. Yep. Oh, whoops, wrong one. I'm like, hey, she's not turning. Top Valley traffic, 7068, right cross wind, runway up it. Some of those calls, you can't understand it all. It's like, get the microphone out of your mouth. Top Valley traffic, 7068, right downwind, runway up it. But if we're hearing them call out. Stop Valley, traffic on 370, Whiskey Charlie, turning base, runway 16, full stop, Stop Valley. Okay, Valley, traffic on Whiskey Charlie, turning base, runway 16, stop. What did you say? I was just going to say they've got, we've got a really good range if we're hearing them. Yeah, see, we got a, their pattern. Yeah, we got line of sight straight into the airport. So, like I said, I'm taking this off autopilot. Okay. Autopilot disconnect. Autopilot disconnect. Okay, I'm going to get us over here so you can see. Now I can see the shore again. I know. That's what I wanted you to see. Stop by traffic, Archer, 9 Whiskey Charlie, pretty final, runway 1 6, full stop, stop out. The autopilot was just turning too slow, getting impatient. Plus, I like flying. <laughs> I know that sounded like Forrest Gump, but that's fine. I like to fly. <laughs> flying. I'm flying. That's my dumb statement when we're on the paramotor, and I feel like we're going fast. I'm like, I feel like we're flying. Stop, I got the 068 extending down one a hair to give room for traffic on file. You still see the shoreline, dear? Yeah. Okay. Stop Valley 7068, right base, runway 16. Well, there's even a golf course right there. Yeah, I know, huh? It's not in bad shape. It looks a little bit dead. Yeah, it looks a little rough, but at least that golf course is understanding of the drought. Well, and those golf courses. Stop Valley traffic 7068, final runway 16. Let's go. And those golf balls aren't hitting our house either. Exactly. Maybe that's why I like other golf courses. <laughs> 104 knots, 6,500 feet. So south of Utah. Archer, next is your whiskey Charlie, clear of the active at Alpha 3. Pass to that to uh, North Park via Alpha 3 Bravo. Just thinking that the shoreline it it doesn't look extremely inviting to fish. Well, just to like walk out and play in the water. Yeah, the marina's down to the east a little bit more, so it's a little bit more, but it's mainly all rocks. So there's a marina right there, but that's a private marina for uh, that little home development down there. Okay, I'm switching tanks. We got 
seven and four. And it is so beautiful out here. It's so, it's really actually smooth. It's been a wonderful flight. It's amazing to see how many new home developments are going in right here. Yeah, exactly. Stop by traffic, 768, departing the traffic, uh, departing the pattern eastbound. All right, we're in Bravo, uh, under Bravo, actually. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. South Valley traffic, Hypersport 713, Echo Romeo, 15 miles to the south, inbound for runway 16, south end of Utah Lake. Eye out for traffic here, babe. Okay. There is none, but I'm going to go to this way, because we're almost in that... We want to steer clear of that MOA. And then we want to start dropping down right at the point of the mountain to get under 5,800. So we'll pass through the point of the mountain. Are you still recording? Uh, yes. Actually, I just a few seconds ago, I accidentally stopped it. Oh, it looks like there's... It. Oh, okay. Looks like there's still some paramotors, or paragliders. Breakfast at the Salt Flats Cafe sounds pretty phenomenal. You do this to me every <laughs> time. I ask you, okay, where do you want to go? Oh, well, let's fly around Utah Lake. Now, it's, now you always change it. You give me a guilt trip. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's not a guilt trip. I'm just pre-planning for you, the next flight. You call Vans and ask where our plane is. <laughs> and, and I'll fly you. I'll be your chauffeur. I don't care. But right now, yeah. Whatever. I'll fly you, babe. Well, as long as we're in the air, I don't care who's flying. Okay, I'm going to make a radio call. Drop by traffic, Fiber Sport 713, Echo Romeo, northbound through the point of the mountain. I think I should do the next call. What is your next call going to be? Do you see the hill? Yeah, I see the hill. Is there a lot of param paragliders? Yeah, quite a few of them. All right, I got to get under Bravo here. I need to be at 58, 5,800. So would I say South Valley traffic Hypersport 713 Echo Romeo entering the pattern on the downwind side. Well, for runway 16. That that would be that would be if um, that would be if you were entering the pattern, but we're not entering the pattern. The pattern's still 10 miles away. So <laughs> what I would do is when we when we get just south of the field, I would make a radio call saying, you know, South Valley Traffic, Piper Sports, 713, Echo Romeo, south of the field. See this right here? This tells you how far away you are from U-42. So you would say, south of the field, 10, mile, 10 miles, inbound for runway 16, entering the downwind leg at a 45. It's a, it's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. But, okay. you, don't, but you don't need to say... All the other stuff, you can just say your location and your altitude, too, until we get closer to what you're going to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so I would just say South Valley Traffic, Hypersport 713, Echo Romeo, 10, 10 miles south of, of the field. Of the field. 5,700 feet. 5,700 feet. So you got it right here, 5,700 feet. And you always want to round to the closest number. Okay. So 
and I always do it to the hundred, so 5,000, but 5,700 is not actually correct. You'd say 5,700 feet. But I'm going down, down to six, or sorry, 5,600. I'm gonna stay at pattern altitude. It's, it's not easy, there's a lot that's going on. You have to think of what you're gonna say before you say it so you don't sound like a derelict idiot, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but a lot of times I do it because you get your mind and it's like, you know, like the last time I flew with my dad, he, and I'm like, we're headed to the practice area. Okay, that's cool. Which practice area? <laughs> so you have to be very, you know. More specific. Yeah, but it's nice though to just, before you hit the push to talk, always think of what you're going to say and then say it. So I could say... South Valley Piper Sport 713 Echo Romeo, eight miles southwest of the runway. No, I would just say south because there's the runway right there. Oh, okay. Eight miles south. And then you're 5, out. 5,700. No. 5,700. 5,700. Yes. Do you want me to do it? No, you got I'm going to do it. Okay. South Valley Piper Sport 713 Echo Romeo. Seven miles south of the field, 5,700. 5,700. That was good. We need to fix your feed. That's yeah. And I don't know if they're hearing that or not. Yeah, because I think if I... Can you... Oh. Yeah, that's way bad. We don't want that. And I think the squelch. Yeah, so I have it on low. Yeah, you need to keep it on low. Yeah, because that's terrible. Yeah. Okay, where, where are we at here? I, I, I lost my bearing here. Okay, let's. Okay, I, I know where we're at. Because we're going to need to make another radio call. And it'll have to be entering the downwind pattern. And the next lo uh, location is the brickyard. So now where's the brickyard? It's up here and to the right. It's almost straight ahead. See that hotel type thing? That, uh -huh. Yeah, that's the brickyard. The gray one or the one that's being built? Um, I guess it's the one that's being built. That oh, looks okay. like the brickyard. So I like to use that, that one too. Yeah. We're at pattern altitude right now, so, and you always want to enter at pattern altitude, so. It's just nice to follow this, this road in, and then you have a bearing, so. That makes sense. Yeah, but it's going to get bumpy right here. It always does. I wonder why. I don't know. I'm still at 5,600. Weather observation, one, five, zero, five, Zulu, weather, wind, one, five, zero, at five, visibility, one. South Valley Traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo, over the brickyard, entering the pattern at a downwind leg at a 45, runway 16, sorry. <laughs> that wasn't very good. Hey, you got your point across. See, and I'm, tr I'm making my radio duck calls too fast because, you know, you want to be somewhat fast at it, just, you know, but I'm trying to be too fast. So now you'd make a radio call just to announce, hey, this is what we're going to do. And then when you actually go into the pattern, you want to make a call, too. So that, hey, we are entering now. So. So, and this is not a 45 degree turn. 45 is as you're entering the pattern halfway on the runway at a 45 degree angle. Because then you can see traffic coming in on your right side and everything else. 
That makes sense. Yeah. So you can see people like that are turning uh, crosswind in and everything else. So this is why it's safer to enter on the downwind leg at a 45. Okay. So. South Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713 Echo Romeo, entering the downwind at a 45 for runway 16. Okay, fuel pumps coming on. See, that's about how far you want to be on your downwind leg, so that if you had like an engine out, you could prop, you could make it to that runway. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're at pattern altitude. Looking good. I, there's no traffic in the area. Tank is full. Tank is on the fullest. We're gonna slow it down just a little bit to get into the, into the white arc. Car, car heats on. Someone's hitting that push to top. Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo, turning base, runway 16. Man, that's an annoyance. Yeah. Valley traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo on final for runway 16, full stop. Okay, full flaps, fuel pumps on, tanks to the fullest, car heats on. I got one red, three whites, 62 knots, perfect. I'm going to look down the runway. Sorry, I turned that off because... No, that's fine. I want to concentrate on this. See the three reds? Yes. Yeah, I'm too low. Now, I'm, now it's perfect. I'm a little fast. All right. Nice, dude. Nice job, babe. Yep, clean it up. If I could just hit the center line, you know, I mean, Practice makes perfect. I know. It's still that was a, that was three good landings this trip. So I'm gonna turn this back on, sorry, because I gotta make radio calls. You're fine. And I didn't want that in my ear. Should I try to taxi? Yeah, let me get up to the line here and then okay. finish cleaning the plane up.
Scott Valley Traffic, Piper Sport 713, Echo Romeo, clear of the active 1-6, taxiing via Bravo to the south hangars. Can't reach that thing. Okay, let's see if Amber can steer this thing. Front or back? Tops. Push okay. right to go right. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Push right to go right. Okay, you're pushing too hard. Oh. There you go. Add the brakes on. Oh. Okay. Clear on alpha? Yep. Yeah, you, you'll know you'll have to give a little more right than, than left. So now push left. Push a little left. Add a girl. Push left. There you go. You want to be on the center line. Oh. I, I, not that I have room to talk. Okay, now push both of them to slow down. There you go. Not so much. Okay. Look both ways. Now you're going to push left. Okay, less, less. Now push right. Right, 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 right. South Valley traffic, Archer 1-9 or Delta, okay, taxi now push Archer left. 1 six via Bravo. There, there you go. You're pushing too hard. Oh. There you go. There you go. A little bit more right. A little bit. There you go. Yeah, you were pushing too hard. Okay, now push a little left. Go. Nice. Haha, <laughs> you the she is. No, right. Oh. Right. Yep. Atta girl. Right, 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 right. I promise we have not been drinking. <laughs> now left. My first time on rudders. No, no, it is. Now try to hold pressure with both of them and then very little little movements. There you go. There you go. It's it's backwards. It, <laughs> like I would think if I'm going to push left, it's going to I'm going to turn that way. Push right, push right. Oh. Okay. Now push start pushing left just barely. There you go, now a little bit more right. You're doing good. Were we supposed to turn there? Uh-uh, I, I know where to go. Okay. Okay, now start to push both. Push, push both. Slow down, there you go. There you go, now push right. So you still keep your air speed up, or your ground speed up just a little bit. Now hard right, there you go. Now a little bit of left. Nice, see, you're getting it. Okay, now left. Now a little bit of right. I don't want to buy a Cessna today, right? There you go. Okay, my controls. Your oh, controls. My controls. You did good. It, Thanks. See, now, now you know what I have to deal with when I'm driving it down the runway at, at 60 knots. It's It's not... Well, yeah, and it's, I guess, I keep thinking if I push left, I'm going to turn. No, you push right to go right. But, yeah, in my brain, I'm thinking if I push right, I'm going to go left. Yes. All right, checklist. We're going to do the shutdown. You did good. Hot stuff. You did good. Parking Sweetheart. brake, throttle. I'm going to leave it right there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. A avionics and autopilot. Autopilot.